good day everyone my name is sunil kulkarni and i am ceo fidel soft tech private limited today i'll be speaking on convergence of technology and local languages to deliver banking and financial solutions for better financial inclusion thanks uh, to the organizers and sponsors for hosting the event today appreciate the same i'll start with uh, a brief about fidel soft tech fidel is a lang tech firm and works with clients to deliver their brands to consumers using innovative technology and language solutions our primary services include technology services localization solutions and services and consulting we started in 2001 and have offices in india and japan uh, we specialize in capital markets enterprise solutions and implementation cloud engineering and ams services Our clients include global Fortune 100 firms, SMEs, and startups. Fidel is an Adobe Bronze Partner and Automation Bronze Partner. We are already certified with ISO 9001 and ISO 27001. Uh, in technology, we cover a broad spectrum, uh, from application development and maintenance to product development as a service and enterprise solution implementation. these days we see a lot of traction for digital transformation data analytics and uh, adobe and service now uh, product line we cover a lot of technology stack in uh, globally because uh, there is still a lot of legacy systems being used as well as the need for digital and new technologies our experience with africa and the continent uh, uh, we have uh, deployed fix based proprietary developed oms for sme brokers in nigeria we have worked with local si firms for implementation we continuously support with it services around testing of automation salesforce and dx initi- initiatives uh, with uh, south africa based firms we regularly translate and localize application ui documents in swahili so hoza arabic other than that of course globally we work with say saxo bank japan you know, for kyc application we recently deployed an equity trading application in malaysia and uh, developed a robo advisory application for uh, hong kong there there are a lot of similarities in african continent as well as in india one primary thing is there's a need for financial inclusion uh, in both regions technology is being leveraged by banks fintech startups government to increasingly bring more population in the financial fold uh, likewise internet penetration in africa and india is growing rapidly as we understand financial inclusion is critical for eradicating poverty India has launched this Jandhan Yojana that works towards providing bank accounts, financial literacy, and subsidized insurance schemes to masses. Likewise, Africa has also worked on creating schemes, which resulted in the number of unbanked ind- adult individuals uh, decrease from 17 million to 14 million between 2003 and 2017. Here. Uh, one thing is sure there is an ever growing mobile phone penetration data pack costs are decreasing and aspirations are increasing all over based on our experience with different markets two points that we want to highlight today one increased reach out of banks and service providers in local languages results in more usage of service and it's a win for all stakeholders and focusing on customer education in local languages to better the increase of our uh, usage of digital services here we try to show how increasingly the uh, companies are realizing the needs to go to tier 2 tier 3 cities or semi urban or rural areas to address the underserved segment uh, we propose that marginal investment in localizing local languages and reaching out a broader audience will eventually lower the cost of reach out In India, we see besides English, a massive population speaking Hindi, Bengali, Telugu. Likewise, in Africa, we see Swahili, Amharic, Hausa, 
uh, Yoruba and Arabic and different languages being spoken. In last few years, the digital penetration has increased. A lot of people have embraced uh, mobile phones. Mobile phone usage has uh, dramatically increased. In India, it has grown to almost 70% and above. In African countries, few countries boast about 85% and above. While the uh, mobile phone usage and the internet data pack usage has increased, in India, we see more than 700 million people is the internet user base. But out of that, around 500 million are using Indian language as local language. Uh, likewise, in Africa, we see a lot of uh, languages, a lot of uh, users increasing, where in Nigeria, it's more than 150 million users uh, using the internet on mobile. When we say going local, obviously it means huge investments, time frames to localize the net banking platform, the number of different layers, the contents, the data, and, and so on. And it's never easy. And at the same time, uh, investing a lot of resources, people are unsure about uh, rolling out these services and the time frame required. Here we introduce Lingvify, one of our key patented uh, solution. Uh, Lingvify is dramatically revolutioning, uh, revolutionizing this space. Uh, Lingvify can localize the UI of any website, web application, net banking application to any language without the need to modify the underlying source code. It's a complete external solution with no internal changes. Because of all this, the time to market is reduced to 8 to 10 weeks within which we can localize any solution in any language. There's no internal IT or project management cost efforts at the client side, and the overall cost reduces to one third of the normal process. The translation itself is human translation and hence quality is assured. The translation is not happening in real time. We create dictionary, uh, which gets created in the solution, and uh, it serves, it's delivered in real time. The solution is uh, OS or programming language agnostic, uh, and the underlying solutions can be anything. Uh, we support all platforms and products. Uh, during deployment, the, there is no need to stop the operations or shut down the server, and hence, it can be seamlessly implemented. The Lingvify solution gets implemented on the client cloud or client data uh, center, and hence supports any regulatory or compliance requirement because we are not touching or, any, or tampering the source code or data or anything. Again, it's uh, regulatory compliant. Uh, mo most of the banks in India and in B2C sites, enterprise product companies like Fujitsu, SAP, Automation Anywhere have already implemented this. The client is in control of entire dictionary, the contents and, and the deployment. Traditionally, if we see on the left-hand side, we can see that uh, localizing means a lot of pain, a lot of efforts. Uh, the entire solution means one is deciding upon what approach to be taken, extracting the strings, translating the same, again, returning the strings in the code, regressive testing, regression testing of the entire solution, and then release and monitoring and mon maintaining different code bases. All this complex process has been simplified using Lingvify, where we have we deploy in just basic three steps. Uh, the key process, our key uh, focus is on scraping the contents from the screen itself. We have technology for that. We scrape the contents. These contents are then converted into a dictionary, which is translated. This dictionary gets embedded in the engine, which gets deployed on the client side. And in real time, the contents are seen. As you can see, this orange part is the Lingvify server, which acts as a reverse proxy uh, in the client side, and it's deployed in the client data center. It works on uh, any net banking solution, any simple websites, CMS-driven websites. Uh, when the contents are being served to the customer, 
the original application server is still rendering or sending the english contents which get interrupted by the lingvify server the contents are stripped off and replaced by the translation dictionary based on the language preference chosen by the user this happens in fraction of second and hence for the customer this looks like a localized application or a localized experience all languages are uh, supported and as we continue to grow a uh, number of languages we again just have to increase the number of uh, instances or uh, dictionaries within our server and no change happens on the customer application side of it i'll show you a demo of uh, one of our recent demos that we have created this is a javascript and where we just add a drop down and based on the language selection during this demo as well the client had no actual efforts and their end the server in fact for the demo purpose was hosted at our uh, end uh, we can see that all these contents are coming from a content management system they have been localized in hindi and uh, not just the text the images we covered all the images as well as well as the actual logging or uh, workflow here there is a mobile and then we get an otp on the mobile this otp is again uh, entered here the otp messages can also be localized in hindi and then we enter this is our, our uh, employees account amit and atish and uh, you can see all this contents localized the entire dashboard and this entire uh, application this entire demo was created within a week and the actual de uh, deployment as i mentioned could take anywhere between 8 to 10 weeks uh, we have created a lot of uh, use cases in uh, indian banking almost most of the nationalized banks 18 plus banks or 20 uh, used use uh, uh, lingvify for localizing their core banking where they use for passport passbook printing for core banking some of them started exploring for net banking as well uh, our solution supports uh, infosys finacle tcs banks flexcube mysis and again uh, other software as well uh, a lot of use cases are uh, are there in india now moving from lingvify uh one other area aspect is about customer education and the need as we see in india india has changed dramatically with the advent of jandhan yojana where lakhs of new bank accounts have been opened few hundred thousand bank accounts have been opened increasing setup creation of new smes in last few years a lot of startups have grown a lot of smes have come up a lot of unorganized sector proprietors are also equipped with basic mobile internet and digital payment account that said a lot of problems still persist proprietors still use personal saving accounts to deposit daily cash instead of opening up a current account for their business therefore creating problems uh, not being eligible for bank loans and so on individuals from underserved segments of society are not able to apply or make full use of the available government schemes uh, there is a lot of fraud and uh, digital fraud uh, and uh, fraudulent otp messages or schemes and individuals still end up duped by loan sharks or uh, using le lending firm with wrong schemes here of course the fundamental problem is of financial education and digital literacy of course government banks everybody is trying at their end but still uh, despite all these well intentioned and good schemes uh, poverty uh, uplifting communities from poverty is still a distant dream here we propose that there is a need for a digital platform a platform where yeah, individuals uh, these people from under seg underserved segments ca can learn or get educated Uh, with their core financial needs a platform that educates regarding the available 
financial services, government schemes, importance of these services, and precautions and preventions from fraud. It's based on a self-learning approach. His speech are video-based because many people still are not might be able to read. It's skill-based or theme-based, uh, modeled on government guidelines, available in local languages, deliveries on mobile, uh, so that location-free and uh, can be accessed or available anytime. And once uh, somebody sees these contents, there are handsome simulators or engaging tools to try this out. Uh, should be developed by professionals with good understanding of banking. And there should be tests, passing of which there could be a issuance of a financial literacy certificate. Here, we have built up an a online platform called Arthashikshan with a lot of diverse educational contents. Currently, we have localized, started with Marathi, but we plan to increase the scope to Indian languages and then uh, white label uh, for banks, insurance firms, government, and then expand accordingly. Here's a small video. This entire contents have been created by us uh, based on the government guidelines and uh, localized in, in the local language. These typically are three to four minutes. Uh, if we look at the uh, span attention or the time that can be given by the home helpers, security guards, drivers, and a lot of uh, proprietors, they hardly get time during the daytime. We also have uh, created these kind of simulators. These are to be localized in uh, local languages where the person can quickly try out what he, has, he or she has learned during this three to four uh, minute video and then quickly try out. Uh, and and we, during the simulation, the actually OTP comes to your mobile and people can try out. So we believe that uh, these kind of simulators as well as education uh, towards financial literacy could really, really help uh, increase the usage of delivery uh, banking services. Uh, as mentioned, a convergence of technology and last mile delivery consideration in local language is waiting to happen. With the proliferation of smartphones, cheaper data plans, increased aspirations, consumers from all segments are increasingly going online. Without proper know-how or understanding, some of them might end up using it wrongly, uh, damaging the bank or financial organization brand and trust value. Some of these we believe could be addressed with the convergence of local language UI, focus on financial literacy initiatives and consumer education in local languages, while imagining and designing the entire customer experience interaction. Technology net banking, chat-based communication, new lending products, KYC solutions. While these are proliferating, these and language support are not exclusive, but should be inclusive. And a convergence will help from a perspective of financial inclusion. A much more broad reach out, increasing usage of services and solutions, more participation in the banking and financial service from the population will benefit all the participants and stakeholders, giving out better ROI, 
and increase in customer satisfaction. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, giving us this opportunity to present today. This is Sunil Kulkarni from Fidel Soft Tech. You can see more information about on our website. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot.